regional games. Blake Jackson to lead things off. We are underway. Game number two and a first pitch fastball is waved at. Nothing in one. So far in the inning for Lindsay, but worked it back to 3-2. Now a walk. And he swung through it. Upstairs, and he clipped him. Oh, my. The 3-2. I'm swinging through the fastball again. Two strikeouts to go with a walk and hit by pitch. 2-1 pitch. Little dribbler up the third base line. Denton bare hands and has no play. And Charlotte's loaded the bases here in the opening inning. Swing and a miss. And Lindsey dodged some traffic in the first inning. And there's a four-pitch walk from Colin Kramer. So, And he's going to dump this one into center field. Ahuna rounds second, heads to third. Barrett wasn't happy with his playing time. Patella wasn't happy with his production. And they both had it out. And Moore sends this one to right center field. It'll bring Ahuna home. Merritt on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here's the relay from Knight. Strong throw, but late. And Tennessee leads 2-0 in the first. And Griffin Merritt scored all the way from first, and that's shot for Moore. A two-out single by Merritt gets him on first base, and then Christian Moore works it deep into the count. It's one out over the plate. He can drive into right center field. You know Wahuna's going to score, but with two outs, Merritt going on contact right there. He slides in safe, and the ball strike first here. To the right side, Knight with the backhand off balance, and the former volunteer finishes off Tennessee in the first. And drops one into center field for a one-out single. Strike three and a fastball. To left, here's Dickey. And he takes care of it. That one was in the dirt. Catcher can't find it. Scott will hustle his way to a strikeout on a wild pitch. And reach first base. Kind of flow he brings, and he takes a plucking to put two on with only one out. Josh Rivera homered early in the game for Florida. Ground ball off the mound, and he kicks into center field off the bat of Ahuna. Here comes Scott around third. And Tennessee takes a 3-0 lead. Impacted rule changes. Swing and a miss for Ensley. And he sends this one into right. Stark around third. He's going to come home to score. Ahuna ends up at third, and Tennessee's got it rolling here early on against Colin Kramer. There was that first pitch slider, and Dickey was just sitting there waiting for it. A terrible location. It wasn't like it hung right in the middle, but ended up at the bottom part of the zone. Short swing to shoot it to right. Two in the first, two in the, the Tennessee roster. And he goes down swinging. After we did the research, and so no fastball seen there, and he goes down swinging. <laughs> to Ahuna, and that same fan who asked where Jerry was, <laughs> called that one for gotten Ahuna's glove. Here's the payoff. Well hit into right center field. Cunningham chasing, and that one's gone. What a shot by Moore. He left here in a hurry, didn't it? I'll tell you what, these last two plate appearances will tell you, Christian Moore's pretty locked in right now. First time up, it was a two-out double, almost to the exact same spot of the field, out into right center. This one he got a little bit more of. 107 mile hour off the bat. I think he thought he got it. Oh, he knows he got it. Didn't sneak out, make a play. Oh, make a play. Let's go, pal. It's the one you practice for right there. Wouldn't have counted, though, if it would have caught it. Why not? It was capable of, and now, finally, folks in the big leagues are seeing it, too. This strikeout number six for Lindsay. 
Hobson skies it to the left side. Ahuna back. And he'll take it himself. One, two, three frame worked by Lindsay. Another. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss. By the way, back to Woodard. Into left field. And off the end of the bat. And that works for a knock for Ensley. And this one's going to get dumped into center field. Ensley headed to third. And a couple of shots that will look like line drives in the scorebook. And Tennessee cooking again in the series against AM. And he loops this one high and deep, and it is way gone. Off the roof in left field. Home run number 18 for Merritt. This is a three run shot. Well, yet another reason why he's not coming out of this lineup. Griffin Merritt, the conference player of the year last year at Cincinnati, comes in. And, and yeah, it took him a little bit of time to be a regular. He's, he's a regular now. That is a no-doubter to left. Two outs, nobody on in this inning for Tennessee. Single, single, no-doubter. 411 feet to left, 107 miles an hour off the bat. That went off the facing of the grandstand roof in left center. They got a swing and a miss. Strike at number seven for Andrew Lindsay. 2-1 pitch. Sharply hit on the right side. And Cam Fisher has a one-out single. Flagged down by Moore to second for one. Ahuna just a hair late. You get the lead runner, Fisher. And he's frozen on the fastball, 93. And Lindsay. Which is way around the one out single from Fisher. Strike three on the outside corner. Back to back K's for Lindsay. Little dribbler back to the mound. Tough play for Ahuna. And a do or die tried to barehand and lost his footing. But Hobson won't be able to advance. You ever seen that many people around second base at once? There's seven players. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Got him. Two down. A good sign right there because Cal Stark this year thrown out just five of 48. Charlotte just trying to get something going offensively, and he's thrown out by a good two steps right there. Charlotte still has not had a base runner get past first base since the first inning. Mm. Into right field, racing back is Scott up the ramp, and that one is over his glove and into the first row. Scott played that just about perfectly. And the Tony Vitello looking like on the right couldn't make a play. It's a home run for Knight, his 12th of the season. All right, good sign for the Niners. Austin Knight, who owns this program well. Just oh. far enough, and you said it. Yeah, Christian Scott was right in the right spot. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Swing and a miss. Lindsay fired up after a 116 pitch outing. Good one. Dragum draws a walk. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. And Fisher down on strikes for the second time tonight. Loser has a noon date with Lipscomb. Jared Dickey, long run. Lost his hat and found the baseball. Great play by Dickey. And that'll close the Charlotte half of the eighth. Ahuna lifts it towards right center. Long run for Fisher. It'll split Fisher and Cunningham. And Ahuna, who limped off the field in the previous half inning on defense, looked to be cramping up. Good enough for the dance moves. And a double. Good job by Hobson to bring that one to the edge of the zone. Lifted to center. Cunningham won't have to move far, and it's the last chance for Charlotte in a 1-0 game if the Volunteers can finish this one off. And they'll turn to Kirby Canal to do just that, senior from Johnson City. Looks like a beer-guzzling biker. He's anything but. Great article by Joe Rexrode in The Athletic this week. Guy would take a nap in the bullpen. Chopper to second. One down.
get called in the eighth inning after having like six beers, get hot on the mound, do his job, then go right back to his nap. But Cannell Dunn drink, and he's the son of a Baptist preacher. He's a 22-year-old college graduate. He's going to go to grad school and try to play one more year for Tennessee. This is a very likable squad with a couple of guys they just put out in the mound. And Will Butcher comes up with a single to left field. That one skips past Stark and gets to the backstop. Payoff pitch. Up the middle off of Fanning's glove. Ahuna with wow. the range. Wow, was that good. And Knight sends it to right. Christian Scott puts it away, and Tennessee has won its seventh consecutive regional game. They'll move into the 1-0 game with Clemson tomorrow night.